think we need it one more time. We'll, we'll end with it as well, yeah? We'll end with it as well. Dr. Bent's Man United surgery. Hey, what's all that about? Do Man United need surgery? They don't need surgery, of course, because they're blessed with an abundance of talent, certainly going forward as well. Big game against Newcastle at the weekend. <clears throat> Go in there. Um, Are you going, yeah? Yeah, I'm going. Yeah, I can't wait for that. Working, obviously, working. They said, they said to me, you're going to be on pitch side for the hour before the game, oh. so the warm-up. So I'll be there. Cristiano will be behind. Chris! Chris! <clears throat> Are you oh, going to give it a wave if you look at it? Very excited. Do you, let me ask you this. Do you get excited? I, I find myself regressing to being 11 when I go to Old Trafford and seeing people that are half my age, the footballers, yeah. and going, oh, it's Mason Greenwood. Oh, 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 this Bruno Fernandes. Like my head, I'm not saying it. Mm. Do you, when you go and do what you do now and you see any current footballers, do you get a little bit starstruck by them? No, not at all. Oh, okay, I thought we'd ask that question. <laughs> no, not, not to, I mean, listen, if you see Ronaldo... Not, not starstruck, but you, you, know, like you are with Wrighty, right? So we know yeah, you oh, love yeah, him, exactly, right? Yeah. Okay. Is there anyone else that's that... Yeah, Thierry. Okay, you see Thierry, you like that? Yeah. Okay, right, that's yeah. nice. See, I love the fact that happens with yeah. you. That's great. That, oh, wow. Yeah, that's how I'm going to be but with Ronaldo. With Wrighty, with Wrighty, it's one of them where, as you said, he's my hero growing up. And even though I worked with him quite a lot, mm. it's still one of them when like, he walks into the room, I see him, I'm like, that's Wrighty there. Yeah. Was, you know, I was a little bit like that with Andy Cole when he was here. On a, I, I when see, he was here at TalkSport? Yeah, I yeah. see him every Sunday. He was another one. Like, I'd walk, he'd walk in and you'd think, wow. Isn't that great, though? That, Andy that you're the same level as these people. Well, I don't you like play, well, you are. You've played professional football. You've scored millions of goals. You've played for England. And yet you still feel like that when yeah, you see honestly, other people. That's you, great. You used to walk in and be like, oh, Coley. That's great you feel like that. So here's the question for you. The, the, the United squad is, is the depth that it's got, certainly with the front three and the midfield as well, is... You know, they're, they're blessed at the moment. But here's the question for you. When everyone's fit, right, and they're not at the moment because we, of course, know that uh, Rashford's out and he'll be back soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. But other than that, United have got Cavani, they've got Ronaldo, they've got Mason Greenwood, they've got Bruno Fernandes, they've got Martial. Pogba, they've got Martial, they've got Matic, they've got Fred, they've got McTominay. All of those players can't fit in the, the five or six that they're going to play, depending mm. on the the, uh, the formation that Oli puts out. So how, do, how does Oli solve this problem? And is it a problem? Players like Cavani, they're now not first choice. They weren't necessarily always first choice because, of course, you know, with his mm. age, he can only play in the big games, etc. So what happens? What does Oli do? Has he keep every- can he keep everyone happy? Well, I don't think he can, unfortunately, because Cavani is a, is a very good pro. And listen, he's a legend in his own right. He's been superb in his career in terms of he's played at the highest level, scored a lot of goals, was brilliant at Man United last season, certainly in the Europa League. I think he got six goals last season mm. in five games. So obviously he stepped up in that. In the Premier League as well, I think he got 10, 10 Premier League goals. But it's one of them all of a sudden that he was someone that you kind of, in big games, in big moments when you needed him, you kind of lent on him a little bit. And I, I go back to the Southampton game where you guys were 2-0 down at St Mary's and yeah. he comes on two, header. two, two headers, two great goals. But now, you, now you've got Ronaldo, he is that person. But not only is he that person, he's that person from the start. Do you know what I mean? He's, he's not coming off the bench to kind of win games. He's going to be starting the games, he's going to mm. be playing a lot more than he doesn't. So I don't see where Cavani fits in. And even out wide as well, you can have, obviously Rashford's out for a little while, but when he comes back, you've got Anthony Martial, then on the other side, you've got Greenwood, you've got Sancho. Sancho. For me right now, as it stands, Greenwood has to start every game. Where? Right or left. Well, wait, you tell me, when everyone's fit, so I include Rashford. Everybody's fit. Right. For, me, first name, number nine, down the middle, is Ronaldo. Ronaldo. It's, it's all okay. Ronaldo. On the right, you've got options. On form right now? Yes. Mason Greenwood. So, so he's United have paid brilliant. 75 million, give or take, for... Jaden Sancho, he's on the bench. He's going to go, he's gonna have to play second fiddle to, to okay. Greenwood. Because okay. Green, you tell me how a, a, a kid, he's only, what is he, 18, mm. 18 years old, he's got three in his, his first three Premier League games and he's looked unbelievable. His finishing has been cra- crazy. So how can you just take him out? So okay. he and on to, the left, when everyone's fit? Probably Rashford, wouldn't it? You'd have to say probably Rashford. So they're the front three. So Martial, Mar- Well, Martial Jayden for Sancho. me is, yeah, Martial, no. Sancho. No Cavani. No Cavani. Well, will you tell me where Cavani's yeah, going to no, play? I agree with you. I agree with you. Because the, Cavani the right hand play. side with Greenwood and Sancho is interesting. I, I don't know what my answer will be, but part of my answer will be you cannot leave Mason Greenwood out. Yeah, but then you figured you paid a lot of money for Sancho. But Cavani could only play down the middle. Cristiano, we know, has played on the left. Mm. But them days are gone now in terms of him up getting the ball, beating players. He's a completely different mm. Cristiano now. He's evolved into the number nine where, as you saw against Republic of Ireland, they're putting crosses in. He's bosh, getting up there. Mm. So I think Cavani at some stage... If he starts, if he's getting limited game time, I think he might start to get the ump. Okay. Um, just a quick word about Ronaldo this weekend. There's still doubts as to whether or not he's going to even feature or start or play. Personally, from my understanding, and this is, I don't know, but my understanding is he will without doubt feature at some stage during the 90 minutes against Newcastle. I personally don't think he'll start. Although, don't you? 
Well, I would stop, but I don't know why managers have this tendency to bring new names in and leave he, them on the bench. He's and... fully fit. L- let him play. Uh, let him play. United are stronger with him. There's no doubt about that. Mm. Let him start. I mean, there's this argument to be had that yeah, but if you bring him off the bench on 60 minutes, the crowd will be. And I'm like, yeah, they will, but the crowd will be as up for it if you start the game with him on What's the pitch. Funny as well, imagine if he doesn't start. Man United absolutely destroy Newcastle. The th- they win four nil. He comes on. He doesn't score. Yeah. What was the next game where he doesn't start again? Yeah. So you kind of you, you kind of created a problem for you, you, for yourself. Again. Yeah, I don't. Why, why is that? Why are the the, the managers sometimes not? Who, oh, Jack Grealish started his first game, didn't he? And then Jane, well, Jane Sancho wasn't really fit when he started his career at United. But I don't understand if you've got a player like Ronaldo who scored two goals last week, mm. looks fit as a fiddle, been with the United yeah. squad this week. Let him start. I definitely let him start. I love the fact that he's got the seven shirt. That's incredible, isn't You're it? A kid, aren't you? Yeah, I am. I like the numbers though. They mean stuff to me. They don't mean anything to you, do they? Yeah, eleven. <laughs> yeah, eleven. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.